<laughs> this is Hamish and Andy. Ham, very exciting stuff for everybody because uh, it's a chance for everyone to get rich through our show in a second. Hogs, my ex-housemate, he did come to the show with many inventions last year. He feels it's right. He feels he's right. Taking a brief sabbatical. Yeah. His brain is full. Will our wallets be the same? It's time for the segment called... Money, money, money. Do you want some money? Hogs inventions. Well done, Hogs. Well done. Hogs. The whistle. The whistle returns. The whistle returns. This is, mo- this is most exciting, Mick. Oh, I uh, I can't wait. Hey, Hawks, can we just quickly say, um, how are you feeling? Obviously, uh, Rebecca Black got a hell of a lot of yeah. publicity for her song about Fridays. A lot of our listeners are uh, obviously clear uh, to them that she's stolen the idea of producing a song about a day. Really, the the, uh, the only uh, invention that sort of got off the ground last year was your song, I Hate Mondays. Mm. Yeah. How, have uh, you felt, how have you felt about that? Oh, I got a bit of cash, by the way. Oh, did you? <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. It's so, getting rich. So, so, how, so, can we, uh, <laughs> dare, dare, we uh, dare we ask Hogs? It did get to number one on iTunes. What, and uh, you, yeah. $700. $700. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so a year of work <laughs> uh, has seen Jeez, quite you, the return. What do you get for number two? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Hogs, I was asking you whether you felt Rebecca Black has stolen the theme. Were you happy that people are writing more songs about Monday, or sorry, a day of the week because you saw the opening? Well, um, I wasn't surprised. I mean, the, uh, as I said, the demand was out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Just, and just you didn't... know, she's just, yeah, she's taking advantage. So good on her. Yeah, good. <laughs> I agree. Have oh. you heard the song? What do you think of that Rebecca Black song? Um, yeah, it's all right. Not as good as I Hate Mondays. I would have thought. See, I'm not too sure which one you're talking. About. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I did sense a bit of stalling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's no, all right. It's all right. I mean, some things good, some things bad, but uh, play on. <laughs> all right, Mick. Uh, it's been highly anticipated. Hogs, give us the invention. Um, hair dryers have, have done well over the years. It's a very good way to dry your hair. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they've uh, really quickened up the process. Mm. Yep. But um, like a lot of inventions, they've. You know, there's a lot of flaws in the, you know, in the hair dryer. Okay, yep. Um, it's very loud. <laughs> very loud. Yep, yep, yep. You know, like you, you you're can't. there and you, you're, trying, you're, you're trying to sleep and the wife's got the hair dryer on. <laughs> the whole night, especially if you're Rapunzel's husband. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No chance, you know, or if you want to watch TV or, or yep. whatever. Or even chatting, even chatting to your wife. Very hard yeah. to talk in the bathroom when a hair dryer's going. Yep, yep. yeah. Yeah, not a chance. Mm. So, and what I what I've, I've found a, a way out here, you guys, right? Which um, which I'm surprised no one's done, and and we can make a fair bit of money out of it. Yep, all is. So all we've got to do is put a a, um, a silencer on it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right, because and I know you've had a go at me in the past saying, oh look, you you don't have the science to back it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just, only when it's science based. The um. Because it's, you know, it's been done before. The signs are on a gun. Yep, different, right? Different yep. uh, ex- exhaust so, gas exhausts. Yeah, n- there's no reason why we can't put a you know signs on a hair dryer. Yep. So, hogs, you know, what we often do. What we often do is um, we, we bag you because you haven't, or just not bag you, but we, we normally question you <laughs> because you haven't done the research. But so far you've just said, well, they've put one on a gun. <laughs> yeah. well, what I love about this is uh, you've gone gun and a hairdryer, not too different. Both have tubes, both have grips. <laughs> both, both, and both, triggers. both can make a loud noise. <laughs> okay, well, why don't we ask, if people want to invest that in 1060, but moreover... Hogs, would you like? I'd also like to know whether it, there can be a silencer on a hair dryer. Does it does it reduce the uh, flow? The flow of the. I mean, because a gun so, a silencer is often called a suppressor because it slows things down a little bit. Does it does it reduce the speed of the air coming out? No, God. Oh, that's good. Nice. oh good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it sounds, it sounds very good. Okay. Run, run, run us through it again, Hawks. Give it give it to us because this is certainly a problem that exists in the market. Well, it's called the the quiet hair dryer. <laughs> oh no, it's not. You can, think, you can do better than that, Hawks. <laughs> you think? Well, well, it's a silent. It's a head with a silencer on it, so you, right, we can um, definitely do better than that. Okay. The um, 
the hair dryer that you can't hear. <laughs> now that's the description, but like, surely the product name sort of like yeah, that, know, that's, the, that's our motto, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. it's going to be like the whisper or something like yeah. that, you know? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Let's let's do the whisper then. Okay. Well, because what and so what it is obviously the, the the whisper hasn't been invented. Every single hair dryer is really loud. Yep. Yep. So that's why we're going to put a silencer on there. Yep. And you're we're not guaran- be able to hear it. You're guaranteeing the same amount of airflow. Same airflow. Yeah. Fantastic. Is, is it completely silent or just quieter? Um. Can you well, make I'm Can you make the noise? Can you make the noise it makes now? Okay, this is what it makes at the moment. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. This is what it's going to be now. <laughs> so you can't get it completely silent. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, no, Just, you can't. It's so <laughs> closer to say a, an electric toothbrush. Yeah, well, I can guarantee the 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 machine to be quite like no you know sound coming out of the machine. Yeah. I can't guarantee the air not making any noise. Yeah, no, you're not point. a magician. You, I don't think you can guarantee the machine either. <laughs> Natasha, what do you think about this idea? I'm definitely up for it. Yeah. I have really thick hair. I actually own a turbo hair dryer. Yeah. Um, because I can dry my hair in fifteen minutes with a turbo hair dryer. But I like to talk on the phone while I dry my hair. That difficult. Not yes. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult with a turbo hair dryer. Yeah. Possible, possible with the whisper hogs. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Just phoning one ear and the uh, <laughs> hair dryer and the other. Definitely <laughs> a good idea. Just definitely use both with hands, the hogs. Both objects. Is, no, just, hogs. Just, just a quick question: Is yeah. the turbo a lot louder than the normal? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're running I think to the it's same. Much louder than an ordinary hair dryer. Probably just down to the fact that more powerful engine, more noise, yeah. just like cars. But hogs, would, would the whisper come in a turbo? Um, yes. Good. Yes. <laughs> and at what, how much would the regular whisper cost and how much would the turbo cost? Well, see, the standard, just a, a standard hair dryer, yeah. the loud one, that would cost 150 Yep. So how much is the whisper? We're only charging double the amount of three hundred. <laughs> three hundred <laughs> bucks for a hand dryer, <laughs> silence. Right. And then how much is the turbo? Um, three ninety-five. We've talked to you. I've talked to you about your price instruction before, <laughs> Hawks. <laughs> I'm worried Hawks. about that you're going Hawks. in heavy. I think we've had a lot of people bringing up with a science background, and and I think um, the general gist of noise is uh, noise is perpetrated by air. Yeah. Very hard to keep the air flow and not have noise because it comes out the fan and it comes out the front. Johnny, what have you got to say on the matter, Johnny? How are you, boys? Really well, thank you. Good man. Well, my missus was overseas in Japan. They beat us to it. Oh, they, um, she she went to a gizmo, uh, gizmo shop in Japan and there was a quiet hairdryer already in there in the shop. Was it called the quiet hairdryer? <laughs> did they put a silencer on there? No, it was just something got to do with the fans and the bearings. It still made a noise, she said, but it was just uh, had like four or five fans interlocking each other. All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's and how we do it. And this was about three years ago. <laughs> So not only has it been they've got you again, hogs. They've got you again. <laughs> Japanese hogs. They are just trouncing on you. I mean, they've never written a hit single about hating Mondays. I'll, we'll give you that. Oh, they probably have, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hogo. We, we hope to speak to you oh. in the next few weeks. Keep thinking. This is Hamish and Andy.